What's going on everybody? It's Adam here of Altex Media Tutorials. I'd first of all like to say our website is finally up, altexmedia.com forward slash tutorials is all the tutorials we uh, release. You'll also find below, you'll notice, below the player of videos, all the links we refer to in our videos will be there. So as you can see, uh, we don't have too many uh, links here yet, but our uh, automation software that we went over, Radio DJ is there. Radio Jar is there. And speaking of Radio Jar, that's what we're going to do today. Today's little video is requested, and uh, what we're going to do today is give you a tour of some of Radio Jar's little features. We're not going to get too much into detail, but we're mainly going to go over the studio monitor and your broadcast link equipment and how to kind of hook all that up. So basically, what's gonna I'm going to start off by giving you a little overview of this area. This is basically your radio manager, I would call it. Um, this is where all your um, details are. As you can see, I started my free trial, and just as a demo, I've named my station LTech Tutorial Radio. Uh, so basically, you have sections here. I haven't actually set too much of my station up yet, um, but uh, I will get to that. Um, again, I'm going to stick to more of the studio monitor today than the broadcast link. And uh, the broadcast link is where you broadcast and do live shows mostly when you connect your equipment, as it says. So let's give you a little overview. So uh, over here you get people. Uh, you click on that category. This is where you would manage your DJs and whatnot. Uh, so you would input DJ names. And this is useful for two reasons. This is useful uh, for two reasons, really. The first reason being that you have it uh, appear under widgets when you, you input your widget into your website. It would read the current DJ, and when you set these up. You would basically uh, pick a time slot for each DJ and uh, guest DJ or whatnot, and it would show up under the widgets. The second reason being, obviously, they can kind of log in and be able to do their show with the same studio monitor. So that's two reasons for that. We go under shows here, same kind of deal. You would go under create and create a show slot. Um, as you can see, you can create show slots, a nice little description thing here, and you would pick a DJ from the people slot to host this and again this would say the name of the show on the widget and it would do the same kind of idea you would just fill out the show name and everything like that hop down here to schedule same kind of idea this is just that you would uh, schedule shows in advance you can schedule into uh, months I believe I'm not too sure how long this lets you schedule in events but it's a pretty long stretch that you can do that so again this is just a schedule and I believe uh, let's just kind of skip this for a sec go down here to widgets as you can see there's uh, quite a few widgets which is really good with radio DJ and again their pricing is uh, very competitive I would say in my opinion uh, this is your tune in API if you want to plug your uh, station onto tune in most people do another really amazing amazing cool thing here I love uh, radio or radio jar for is this Facebook plugin this will let you input your uh, player on the Facebook yeah really good uh, current show again this is the thing I was mentioning before it'll mention your DJ and uh, the time frame it'll also mention the name of the show that you've specified under shows if you go under DJs here same kind of idea this will uh, this is for your people uh, it'll go under and put the current name of the uh, DJs and basically all the DJs that are on your file it'll list them and it'll also list their time slots schedule same kind of idea you would uh, copy this and put it into your web page gives you a schedule of uh, the upcoming month and uh, who's in where and uh, what uh, schedule what the schedule has and uh, who's scheduled for what days basically it takes people and the shows and puts the two together for the people and the shows and it puts them into the each month and uh, it gives you a nice little overview of the month so your viewers can see nice little chat here uh, chat system uh, if you want to have your viewers interact with you during your show maybe you take requests stuff like that useful tool there for you and of course you have your nice little player here and uh, let's just preview it so you can get an idea of uh, what it would look like so there you go nice little player and uh, you can embed that into your website and uh, let people listen stream URL this is more for direct links um, if you want to this is useful for tune in as well you're gonna want your main stream link so when you're um, when you um, when you submit your tune in station you're gonna want this one here MP3 uh, TuneIn requires a direct MP3 stream, so you would want to submit that to TuneIn along with your TuneIn API. If you want to become a partner, 
Um, this allows you to kind of configure more things on TuneIn. So, uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, so that's what you're going to want to submit to TuneIn. So we're not going to get too much into detail to that. Maybe I'll get into another video eventually. So we left off at schedule. Let's go to breaks. This is basically where you would set off your jingles and whatnot into here. You just upload them all and put them into categories and stuff like that. And that's uh, basically how that works. You just set categories, very easy to use. And uh, you just uh, schedule the slot time, and it'll, uh, whether you want to do it, it kind of works the same as an automation program. Basically, that's what this is. Again, it's like a cloud DJ. You upload all your songs and have it, uh, you know, if you want song, jingle, song, jingle, song, jingle, you might want an ad to come on at a certain time. You can have top of the hour jingles, anything like that. That's what this is useful for. You can preview them all when you have them uploaded. Great little system here. Uh, let's move down to media library kind of uh, common sense but this is where you upload your tracks great little track manager you can uh, upload from your Dropbox um, you can drop your files here I'm just gonna click add files so you can get an idea but uh, basically that's how it works you just uh, find your files here so I'll uh, give you some examples here so I'll here's some of my music uh, copy a few of these right quick so you just open those it puts them all in and I'm just gonna say start upload depending on your internet speed it'll take a little longer um, sometimes it takes longer than others obviously and uh, I'm obviously not I'm not gonna let that finish it because I'm gonna configure this later for a next tutorial but you get the idea so uh, that's how it works uh, going back here to uh, let's go back here to pilots this is basically autopilot so this is this is what controls this is really the automation of things um, this is kinda where you configure this is like in Sam Broadcaster where you configure your clock basically so you go in here and this is your rules so obviously uh, if you have you know not many songs in your library you're not gonna want this very high um, you know if you have say 20 or 30 songs you're gonna want this on probably you know 5 or 10 reason being because if you don't have enough songs into your categories, your station's not going to play right. Same is true with uh, you know um, the songs and the jingles and everything. You're going to want to make it sure it's low, especially if you have lower songs. Really, the higher songs, the higher that can be. And again, this here is useful for song, jingle, song, jingle, and uh, the re repetition of each element within your um, breaks and whatnot. Um, so let's go down here to reports. Um, this is mainly just uh, this is a good little live listening thing to see who's listening to your station. Breaks it down by uh, who's been listening. Uh, I believe it also breaks it down uh, by state. Also, um, yeah, regional st statistics. Here you go. So as you can see, nice little worldwide thing here. You can see uh, who's visiting your station. I think there's a live stats too, so you can see them live. Um, but anyway, you can see your period stats for a certain period. And uh, obviously, I haven't did a broadcast yet, so it's not too much in depth yet. But uh, this is where you would see all that under widgets here again. Uh, all your widgets that you would want. You get your uh, stream URL, player, chat, schedule, DJs, um, current show, in the Facebook plugin that I love. And you get your tune in thing if you want to further configure tune in when you submit it. And finally, go down here to settings. You just upload your logo. This is kind of general sense. And you change your name of your station. Um, and you just name it whatever you want obviously mine's already named so I'm not gonna jiggity jank that too much but you fix your logo you give it a good description I don't have a description here yet I will work on that for the next video but uh, that's basically how it works here you got kind of a sub menu uh, you get your contact info microsite uh, which is really cool this is a really cool feature and I'll get over to that in my next video but to just to give you a quick little preview uh, I'll show you how to kind of configure this in the next video nice little site here a lot of people like linking this um, a lot of people like linking this from their website. This is where you would uh, send your Listen Live button. If you had a Listen Live button, you could send people to this. Cool little feature. Of course, it'll say the name of the song, and the album will show up as well if it's configured correctly. That's basically how that works. Uh, you also have privacy settings. You can pick uh, who can do what on your station, the kind of level of admin rights that your uh, people, and show, um, people can have on your station. Um, that's basically how that works. You can uh, exclude it from the radio DJ um, kind of library, and you can show um, you can choose whether or not you want to show the tracks to play on that player we just looked at and in other areas. Localization, maybe you want to keep it. Um, you know, you want to keep you, ha you obviously want to have the right time zone, so uh, you're going to want to pick this for right. This is especially important for things like your schedule, your shows. And uh, really everything, uh, pilots, everything, you need to have the right time. 
So again, this is the broadcast link here. I'm not going to get too in-depth with this. We'll go over this in another video. This is how you do live shows. Crossfade, this is uh, important as well, cool little feature. This is what uh, crossfades your music into another element. If you're crossfading, um, for example, you have a jingle and you want to go back into the song, you might want to crossfade. Or vice versa, if you're going from a jing or from a song to a jingle, rather than have the um, song stop right away, have it fade into the jingle. Advanced settings, couple little uh, settings here. Gives you an idea, a kind of overview of your server stats. You can shut it down, restart it. Library status is activated. Streaming status activated. And you can delete your station if you want to, but uh, I don't. <laughs> last little preview here, last tab, the plan and billing. Uh, this is basically gives you obviously an overview of your plan. Um, and again, it, uh, right now I'm under my free trial, but it would just kind of say... Um, what your plan you're under here and when your expiry is and stuff like that and have your billing information here as well I don't have any billing linked I will once I start the station and uh, yeah so I'm just gonna give you another quick little overview not too in-depth because we've already went over that in our last video of where we went over our top streaming solutions but they have some good packages here um, I've heard that there's new one coming out um, new ones coming out I'm not too sure what they'll entail but a uh, lot of great options as you can see some good prices too and uh, yeah for the bang for your buck you're getting a good deal anyway that'll wrap it up for this video if you want to learn more information head over to radiojar.com one of our uh, top streaming capabilities that Altex Media recommends get over there now start your free trial they give you a 15 day trial and uh, you can click on the link below the player here to go to Radio Jar. And uh, again, Radio Jar is the one that Altex recommends. Most of our clients that start radio stations with Altec Media go with Radio Jar. And uh, I would recommend Radio Jar personally as a radio station broadcaster, as it's one of the easiest to use and the one with the most features. And obviously, the most bang for your buck. Really good prices. Anyway, that'll wrap it for today's video. And uh, for more information, visit us online, altexmedia.com, for all the tutorials you need to know how to do things. And uh, that'll wrap it up. Thanks for watching.